I just had the honor of announcing the Jesus for graduates. And now it's my privilege to introduce the student that those graduates have chosen to speak on their behalf. I first met Nick Donovan as a student in my grade 9 class. He was quiet, a little bit shy, but he quickly stood out as a student who possessed not only great analytical and communication skills, but a drive to bring his very best self to his studies. Nick and I later worked together just last year when he was in my grade 12 class. He was no longer quiet, certainly not shy, but he brought the same skill and dedication to his work. Nick Sean in venues outside of his academics. He was a member of both the junior and senior boys soccer teams. He was recognized with the Future Leader Award in grade 11 and he served as the Student Senate Prime Minister in the 2017-2018 year. Outside of school, Nick was a volunteer with the Toronto Brigantine International, a program that's designed to foster personal growth in young people aboard a variety of sailing vessels. But after a summer of volunteer work, Nick was selected to join a small crew on the Willis Bond, a 63-meter, seven-sail schooner, and was tasked with the challenge of taking that vessel on a 35-day crossing of the Atlantic. Currently, Nick is studying business at Wolfram Laurier University. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the valedictorian for the graduating class of 2018, Nick Donnelly. same path from the parking lot to the double gym doors like I had done a 
thousand times before. But this time, with my head held high, wearing my own shoes, <laughs> walking my own path. And as I entered the grad hall, seeing my friends, being welcomed by all of you guys, is truly a moment I'll never forget. So thank you. And I imagine that's how a lot of you feel today. My story serves to prove that no matter how far we're pulled apart, our roots remain the same as OD bears. In 40 years, we'll still be talking about how we had NBA stars sleeping in the library. <laughs> how Mr. Bird made one of the most boring subjects enjoyable with his hilarious stories, crazy experiments, and most importantly, the genuine desire to see us succeed. You'll remember the panic of getting our Phoenix Cup teams made just to go 0-3 on game day, <laughs> getting crushed by Bishop Mack. You'll remember the times when Mr. Silveri would hand out an extra slice of pizza on the house. You'll remember scaling Mount Everest to get to after prom. And we'll remember... <laughs> Thank you. 